Hello guys, JD Gravity RC here. Welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about transmitter today. Before we go on to talk about what type of transmitter that you should be getting, let's talk about the basics of quadcopter. Um, for a quadcopter, it, it is made up of the frame, the props, the ESC, and the models, and also the most important thing is the brain. The brain is the flight control board. With the flight control board, there are certain instructions that have been put into the flight control board and to tell the flight control board how it behaves when it's lifted off the ground or when some inputs is given to it by the transmitter. So the transmitter comes in as um, it's like a, a, a you transmit signal, you transmit instructions. So left, right, up, down, and stuff like that. So by inputting signals into the uh, transmitter through the states, you are sending signal off to the flight control board to tell the flight control board how to behave when certain inputs are put in there. So that's where the transmitter comes in and the transmitter has to talk to the uh, flight control board so that's where the protocol comes in like for example free sky fly sky futaba wakira and so on so that's the language that that between the um, transmitter and the flight control board the the other things about the transmitter is that the signaling part is done through electronics but for the transmitter itself to know how good it is you need to have um, to see how the uh, sticks they work uh, whether they respond um, smoothly or not it really depends on the quality of the transmitter itself so the transmitter also comes with uh, software that's part of um, the makeup of the transmitter so say for example with the Tyrannis that you can see on the screen now that is OpenTX that basically means that it can be it's, it's done by the FPV community or the uh, RC community so say for example Android phone and Apple phone so basically Tyrannis is like Android uh, you can change whatever that you want and whereas for Apple you can't do it so the software itself is important because it will give a lot of options to the users of how you set up your transmitter and all the switches all the controls all the input signals that you're going to give it and um, through the transmitter to the flight control board so the more channels you have the more options you can use um, as for the gimbals itself uh, it has to be around this size which is like the Tyranny size or the Devo 10 size because then the travel for the sticks are longer and then by having a longer travel distance you can actually set up a more precise control using Expo so that's why this is a very good size and this is a hobby grade size and it's much better this way so if you look at the Devo 7e this is much much smaller and um, although it's good in itself but the travel distance is shorter by having a shorter distance you don't it's pretty hard to program it so that say for example you put expo on the stick and then the expo will be like somewhere here in the middle here but then once you get over the middle you only have very short distance so which will give you a bit of control but not very good control whereas for 
the Devo 10, which is the standard hobby grade size. The Expo can be put and then you can have more distance between the sticks itself. And this will help you to have a bit more control over the inputs that you put and on the quadcopter. So in terms of the build itself, you also need to be aware of this, the, the casing, whether you like to hold it, how you like to hold it, and, and also the components in the uh, transmitter. So obviously, the more money you pay, the better components they have in there, and, and the better gimbal st sticks, it may last longer. And also with um, the um, hobby grade size controller, you have different three position switch, two position switch, and dials, and stuff like that. So this gives you more options. So that's basically what you need to look at in terms of the physical um, things that you look for in the transmitter. So in terms of which transmitter to get for your particular use, you need to know what you want to use it for. At this stage, the consensus is that the Tyrannis is the best for FPV and for long range flying. And this has been consensus in the RC community. So because I'm not expert in this, but I accept what they say and I have seen some videos of it and I think it's pretty good. But it's very expensive and it flies uh, free sky. But because it's modular based, you can put also other modules, swap out the modules at the back to say for example DSM, which is spectrum type. And also there's this module for um, the like the deviation type with NIF A7105 and the uh, um, the C20 something. So that one is, it comes in the module base and you can also plug that into the Tyrannis or also the uh, Flysky uh, I think the something like this module Flysky uh, hang on Uh, it's a Fry Sky 9 XT Pro, so that one is a little bit cheaper, and you can also swap the uh, module. So, as a newbie or as somebody who just got into the uh, hobby, the best thing to do is you try out different protocols, um, and then you can fly many different types of um, quad with just one controller so that's the best way for you to you know learn and which one which of the protocol that you like so i suggest that if you are new to this hobby the best thing to do is to get a um, devo 7e or the devo 10 and mod it with the um, either the individual modules, the NRF, and the A7105, or the 3 in 1 module. Uh, I would suggest that you use the 3 in 1 module, and because there are 3 wires that you need to connect, and the third wire is very hard to solder, I think. The, it's best that you leave out the A710 module, you don't solder that whereas you should just solder the NRF and the C20 something module because C20 gives you uh, Futaba and Free Sky and you can try Free Sky using Devo and it's NRF gives you the protocol to fly a lot of other popular toy quads with the V202 protocol. So you can 
use Devo 7e but because Devo 7e has less switches it's not suitable up to certain level so when you go up to quads like SK X 251 or 252 or SKX 100 where you have 3D flying and acro mode and or you have three modes like for example the blade type of uh, quadcopter then you need to have something like a Devo 10 so the, because Devo 10 has a lot of uh, position switches uh, it's easier to program it to work with the more uh, advanced type of quads the Devo 70 can be used for uh, quads where you only need the um, the sticks input and also very simple auto flips and also with Devo 70 you, you grow up very, out of it very quickly because uh, you can only use it for those low level type of toy quads whereas for the Devo 10 you can basically use it to fly the um, the racers uh, also blade and bigger quads with camera on it so I suggest that you get the uh, Devo 10 the more that you get into this hobby the more specialized you become then once you know which protocol that you like to fly then you then choose the specialized uh, specialized and better build transmitter for example the free sky tyrannis i'm pretty sure that once you get into this hobby uh, and in the long run you're going to buy the free sky because i understand that it has very solid connections and it's very long range so before you start you know you buy that uh, transmitter it's better that you try it out and see which one that you want um, to use I mean the protocol so there are different types of um, you know transmitter this is a uh, fly sky six channels then you have the uh, more advanced fly sky another more advanced fly sky and uh, this is the one that I was talking about TH9X this one you can swap uh, modules like this so you can buy DSM and stuff like that and the, for example fly sky this is a longer range module this is the 3 in 1 modules that you can use to mod your Devo 10 or Devo 10 7E this is the individual module A7105 which can fly Hubson, fly Sky this one is 4 in 1 module that you can create something like the module for your Tyrannis but I think there's a pre-made one that's so on Banggood but I can't find the link at the moment then you also have the free sky other modules so this is Tyrannis so this is the ultimate one that you can buy next time and this is radio link I think radio link is put for Taba but anyway guys I suggest that if you know a bit of soldering you can buy Devo 10 and mod it with the 3 in 1 module leave out the A7105 which is too hard to solder otherwise if you can solder all the three wires you get the whole range of protocol that you can fly otherwise if you just want to fly um, just a normal racers I suggest maybe you can get something like this which is cheap and which uh, all the e-shins are racers use um, the fly sky one so you can reuse this uh, receiver so you can try this one out if you don't want a Devo 10 or Devo 70 that, or you don't know how to mold but this is a good starting uh, um, transmitter for use for you to use and you don't have to do any modification either this one fly sky or the uh, hang on the TH9XD you 
and I can't find it. Anyway, it's either this one or the TH uh, 9XT where you can swap out the modules. So guys, I think uh, this is quite a long video. I'm going to stop now and uh, you know, hope you choose the uh, um, transmitter that you like to fly. And uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, this is JT Gravity RC. Cheers.